Okay. So what do you think you're looking at? Okay, so these are scraps of what I just finished cutting up to make my vegetable fermentation. Mixed vegetables, that is. So here you see some slaw. You see a little bit. I used a little bit of ginger. You see that I used carrots. And what is this? Whoa, eggplant. I put some eggplant pieces in there. Okay. And beets. Okay. Beets are so good for you. And if they're fermented, even way better. Okay. I didn't put onions because I did a separate batch of fermentation, which included, it was made up of coleslaw, or just slaw, rather cabbage, and onions. Now let's give you a close-up of my jars. Okay, so here are my jars. Okay, filled with salt water, as you can see. To the neck, I'm going to top it off with most, more slaw, all the way to the uh, neck and then I'm going to continue to crush it inside as you can see beat it inside okay now I don't have weights with me so I haven't always done the weights thing um, I've gotten away without using the weights I packed them up because I thought it was moving last year so let me just put a little bit more of cabbage and I'll be right back Okay, so I'm going to stuff it with the harder part of the cabbage. In fact, this probably is a little bit thick. Maybe one on one side, one on the other. So just like I would as if I'm doing a cabbage fermentation, okay? So this kind of, this is exactly the way it should be, okay? Here we go. And let it spread its wings when it's in there. There's a good piece right here. Okay. Okay. Let me shop for more of the uh, stronger part. So. So I've been doing fermentation for at least four years, not consistently, but then I started seeing YouTube doing it. I'm like, hey, wait a minute. I think it's time for me to get on YouTube. I should have gotten on YouTube way back, way, way back, 2011, but better late than never, right? I love to share with people, so this is really something that I can do. I have beauty secrets I'm going to share with you besides fermentation. I'm going to show you how a 60-year-old woman, I mean, I looked in the mirror this morning and it seems like I reversed my first signs of wrinkles in the neck. So if you follow me, eventually we're going to get to that. Okay. All right. So. Let me get a little bit more water. And I'm going to put a little more salt. I'm using Himalayan salt. I know that no, I've never seen anybody use Himalayan salt, but that's the salt I've always used and it never, it always worked for me. It always works for me. So, in case you're wondering, this is Himalayan salt. Okay, so let me shake the water. Because the salt always stays in the bottom. I don't let it go all the way to the top. They say up to the neck, but I don't think so. It's always worked. In fact, the closer to the top it is, the less air it would have. So I'm one of those that has absolutely no problem with filling it to the top. Okay, so now 
going to punch it down a little bit more. Punch it down a little bit more. I don't have any weights again, but you may want to use weights. I just uh, don't have them handy, and it's never hurt at all for me to ferment without them. Because at the beginning, I had I had uh, regular mouths, and uh, uh, the weights were too wide. They were really made for a wide mouth, so I never really used them. Okay, so here we go. So... I've already poured hot boiling water on this, on both pieces, okay? And in fact, let me follow, follow protocol. And, I mean, we're not canning, we're fermenting, but I'm still going to follow protocol. Let's see where the vinegar is. Okay, so I'm going to use my um, apple cider vinegar. And the reason why I'm going to do that is I, I have vinegar in storage, and I don't want to pop it just for this. I'm storing everything. I am a prepper. So, a little bit of vinegar doesn't hurt. They say if it's, if it's warmer weather, it doesn't hurt. If it's colder weather, where you're storing it. Maybe you shouldn't, but anyway, I'm just wiping the lids with apple cider vinegar. This is really used on canning, but I'm doing this anyway. It doesn't hurt. And that's with apple cider vinegar. Okay. And I'm going to do a show on how to make apple cider vinegar with the mother from scratch. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we go. Let me fill this a little bit more. Okay, they're all, I'm going to fill all of them to the top. Well, actually, this doesn't have onion, so it's not really going to go over. It usually does when it has onion. But it's okay, because when I store it, I store it on a pail, so that way if anything overruns, which it doesn't happen with these lids. I've never had that experience. Okay, so that's number one. And this is number two. Okay, nice and tight, nice and tight. And you could get these uh, at Walmart online. Quite frankly, I just started doing it through Alibaba because I used to, I used to shop Alibaba, or AliExpress way before anybody even knew it existed. Way back like in 2006. I even have some beauty machines that I'm willing to give away to people who would watch my show all the way to the end because that's what helps me get paid by YouTube. So, there you go. Okay, so now I'm done with all of my jars and I think they're beautiful. What do you think? Look at this. Look at this. It's got red peppers, green peppers, no onions, beets, uh, eggplant, what else? Ginger, it's gonna have a nice flavor. It's already red, you can see from the, from the beets. Look at this, beautiful. So now I'm gonna store it in one of those white short pails, it's just in case it bubbles over. And that's it for my show for today. What do you think? Give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and if you would kindly also um, uh, set a reminder, uh, a notification, the notification bell would really help me out. Help me. I waited a long time to do this. It's time for me to do it. And I need your help. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a great day.